One thing you may have noticed first in this trailer is that they never show off Pennywise's face in full, it's always obstructed by something. But after going through frame by frame, I found a subliminal message that plays for one twelfth of a second, so stick around if you want to see that. This opening scene with the boat seems to show that this will be super faithful to the source material. This box of tissues shows us that Bill is sick when he makes the boat, these curtains tell us that they're in the 50s, there seems to be a pad and pencils on Bill's bed, perhaps a nod to the fact that Bill grows up to be a writer in the book. He also seems quite interested in astronomy, though I'm not sure what to make of that. Let me know your interpretation in the comments. As Georgie is playing with the boat, we see that the streets of Derry seem to be covered with these tents, which are blocked off by public works. It looks like they may have been used to cover up sewage caps in the street, which may be a result of it. With sandbags all around the base of these tents, it seems that they don't want anything getting in or out. Glad to see this scene in here. I know all too many people who refuse to walk near sewer grates because of this part. It's obviously dark in there, but it seems Pennywise may not have his signature balloons. There are two big red arrows on the ground pointed at this monument. Here, we see a woman putting up missing posters for Patrick Hockstetter. Patrick is one of the bullies in Henry Bauer's gang who terrorizes the Losers Club. In the 1990 TV miniseries, he's basically just a minor character, but in the book, he's probably the most disturbing human character of all. I'm gonna steer clear of spoilers, but if you've read the book, you know that things are about to get dark. Also, look how many staples there are in this post. Just think about all the missing kids in this town that have already been given up on. This is obviously the library scene, but as I recall, this scene took place when they were adults, not kids. It was also Richie who sees Pennywise and the balloons in the library in the miniseries at least. Judging by his weight, I'd say that this character is supposed to be Ben. As a disclaimer, there may be things that I'm forgetting from the book, and please drop me a comment if that's the case. But the point is that throughout the entirety of this trailer, we seem to only see the characters as kids, leading me to believe that the adult portions of the story may be cut out, or Warner Brothers is planning to do a sequel. Look at this shirt he's wearing. This is clearly a reference to Stephen King's book Christine, the one with the killer cars. This house is probably 29 Niebolt Street, a rundown house in the book where the kids encounter it in some of its other forms. In fact, it's basically confirmed a few moments later when we see Niebolt Street on the map of the sewer system. Speaking of which, we can also see that a sewage line runs through the cemetery, which means we may get a new adaptation of the grave digging scene. So take your pick, a bu a bu a bu a billy boy, except for the one on the end. That one's already taken. Sorry. It's not really clear what's going on here, but they're basically using their projector to display a map of Derry onto the map of the sewer lines, so they can see exactly where the sewers line up with actual locations in the town. Here, we see one of the kids taking a puff of his inhaler, which means that his character is probably Eddie, the asthmatic of the group. In the book, the inhaler becomes a weapon used against Pennywise, and its presence here suggests that may still be the case. Earlier in the trailer, we see them putting slides in the projector. This slide clearly says, made in USA. Then, later on, it shows a slide popping out, and if you look closely, it says, made in Canada. Beverly wears a key around her neck, and Ben has solar systems on his shirt, a possible connection to the planets in Bill's room. For the rest of the trailer from this point on, they cut to these two frames of the blank wall upon which they were showing the projection in between shots if you were wondering what that was. If you look closely at Pennywise's reflection right here, you'll notice that its eyes don't seem to reflect in the water, which is pretty creepy, if you ask me. You'll also notice the washer and dryer right here, which means they aren't in the sewer in this scene. They're in somebody's flooded basement or something. And finally, the last shot of the trailer, we see this wall again for 1 12th of a second, and the projector is now showing our first totally unobstructed view of Pennywise's face. And that's it, pun intended. If you're excited for this movie, then give this video a like. And if you're new here on the channel, my name is CZ and I direct horror films and write horror stories. People have told me that I'm like the Stephen King of the YouTube generation, so if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to subscribe to CZ's World for new horrors every other week. Ring that death bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Assuming we both survive.